to understand, Hilia shouted. Don't you want to know how it happened to him? No, you can't learn anything from ghosts, Hilia. You of all people should realize. I'm leaving, Hilia said. Your friends are a few blocks away. Are you coming with me, or should I tell them you died because you got lost in the past? I'm not the one who took possession of this place. Hilia turned on her heel and marched out the front door. Raina looked around one more time. She remembered her last day here, when she was ten years old. She could almost hear her father's angry roar echoing through the great room, the chorus of wailing ghosts on the balconies. She ran for the exit. She burst into the warm afternoon sunlight, and found that the street had not changed. The crumbling pastel houses, the blue cobblestones, dozens of cats leaping under cars or in the shade of banana trees. Raina might have felt nostalgic, except her sister stood a few feet away, facing Orion. "'Well, now,' the giant smiled, "'both daughters of Bologna together. Excellence!' Raina felt personally offended. She had worked up an image of Orion as a towering, ugly demon, even worse than Polyboats, the giant who had attacked Captain Jupiter. Instead, Orion could have passed for human. Tall, muscular, handsome human. His skin was the color of wheat toast, his hair dark and undercut, swept up with spikes on top. With his black leather breeches and jerkin, his hunting knife, and his bow and quiver, he might have been Robin Hood's evil better-looking brother. Only his eyes ruined the image. At first glance, he appeared to be wearing military night vision goggles. Then Raina realized they weren't goggles. They were the work of Hephaestus, bronze mechanical eyes embedded in the giant's eye sockets. Focusing rings spun and clicked as he regarded Raina. Targeting lasers flashed red to green. Raina got the uncomfortable impression he was seeing much more than her form. Her heat signature, her heart rate, her level of fear. At his side, he held a black composite bow, almost as fancy as his eyes. Multiple strings ran through a series of pulleys that looked like miniature steam train wheels. The grip was polished bronze, studded with dials and buttons. He had no arrow knocked. He made no threatening moves. He smiled so dazzlingly, it was hard to remember he was an enemy, someone who had killed at least half a dozen hunters and Amazons to get here. Hilia drew her knives. Raina, go! I'll deal with this monster! Orion chuckled. Ha ha ha! Hilia, twice kill! You have courage! So did your lieutenants! They are dead! Hilia took a step forward. Raina grabbed her arm. Orion! she said. You have enough Amazon blood on your hands. Perhaps you, it's time you try a Roman. The giant's eyes clicked and dilated. Red laser dots floated across Raina's breastplate. Ah, the young praetor. I admit I've been curious. Before I slay you, perhaps you'll enlighten me. Why would a child of Rome go through such links to help the Greeks? You have forfeited your rank, abandoned your legion, made yourself an outlaw. And for what? Jason Grace scorned you. Percy Jackson refused you. Haven't you been, what's the word, dumped enough? Raina's ears buzzed. She recalled Aphrodite's warning two years ago in Charleston. You will not find love where you wish or where you hope. No demigod shall steal your heart. She forced herself to meet the giant's gaze. I don't define myself by the boys who make or may not like me. Brave words! The giant's smile was infuriating. But you are no different from the Amazons, or the Hunters, or Artemis herself. You speak of strength and independence. As soon as you face a man of true powers, your confidence crumbles. You feel threatened by my dominance and how it attracts you. So you run, or you surrender, or you die. Hilia shrugged off Raina's hand. I will kill you, giant. I will chop you into pieces so small. Hilia. Raina interrupted. Whatever else happened here, she could not watch her sister die. Raina had to keep the giant focused on her. Orion, you claimed to be strong, yet you couldn't keep the vows of the hunts. You died rejected, and now you're running errands for your mother. So tell me again, how exactly are you threatening? Orion's jaw muscles clenched. His smile became thinner and colder. 